all right my friends so welcome to today's episode right here in today's episode and the next episode we will deal with stuff with features which would be a good game pass okay so in today's episode we will deal with a notifier system so a system which notifies you once dolphin has been spawned and of course you need to realize my Dull fruit spawn system from the previous episode in order to be able to understand and to recreate what I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, so this spawn, uh, this this notifier system does only apply to the spawn system, which requires you to you know put these location parts right here and so on. So this do this does not apply to the bonus spawn system, aka harvest system. Okay, and if you think about it, how would you realize a notifying system on a harvest system? So. Is it going to notify you once you have harvested a Delphrid? Makes no sense. So, since this is going to be some kind of game pass, you would need to know who owns the game pass. And that's the part where, where it comes a little bit difficult for me and also for you, because I don't know how you're going to realize things, how you are going to implement things. And therefore, I'm going to give you... Nah, therefore, I have to expect some things from you in order to make this whole thing work for you okay but let's begin let's just let's just easily begin so what we need to do is that we need to create a gui right here okay so start a gui create a screen gui call this del fruit notifier add a frame inside of here nah we don't really need a frame we can just easily add a text label there we go. Now let's give it a size. Okay. Okay, let's put it at the middle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a small trick right here. Just calculate one minus 0.3, and then you have 0 0.7, and then you gotta divide 0 0.7 by two. So you get 35, and boom, you have just moved this to the middle. Let's make this transparent. Let's make the text scaled. Let's change some things. Let's add, let's add bangers. This is my this is my favorite font right here. I literally use this on anything. I'm just gonna give it a random ass design. I don't care. So Okay, so Adult Fruit is currently in a server. That is gonna be our notification right here. Let's make sure that this is invisible by default. And what we wanna do now is that we wanna modify our spawn system a little. So we wanna create a folder. And we want to call this one spawned the Fs, okay? And now inside of that folder, we want to put all of the spawned the Fs into. So, double fruit parent is going to be workspace, double fruit, nah, spawned the Fs. There we go. And you also have to check whether the parent right here, so... The condition for it to despawn is not double fruit parent equals workspace, but equals workspace spawn ds because this is gonna be the default parent for each spawn dull fruit. Okay, this folder now, and what we wanna do now is that we wanna. Wait, how are we going to do things now? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it like this. Forget forget what I, what I said about the game pass whatsoever earlier. Let's do it like this. Look. So, we are going to add a local script right here. And then we are going to 
refer to this folder. So wait for child spawn DFs, okay? And spawn DFs, child edit, connect function. So I'm gonna be explaining this, do not worry. Notification visible true. Okay. Spawn TFs, child removed, connect function. If spawn TFs get children is greater than zero, is equal to zero, I'm sorry. Then false. And let's actually play this and see if this really works. As you can see, there is no text. Okay, Dolphin is currently in the server. Let's try to pick this up as fast as possible. And it is gone. Okay. Dolphin is currently in the server, as you can see. Okay, now we have two. Am I able to pick it up fast enough? Yeah, there we go. It wasn't there for a split second. I'm just I'm just too slow. Wait, wait. Let's increase the spawn size, uh, the spawn time to 10. And let's decrease the despawn time to 5. To really, really verify that this works, okay? But it seemed to work, as you guys were, were able to see. So, 10 seconds. Come on. Okay. There it is. It is gone. There it is. Let's pick it up. It is gone. There it is. And it is gone again. Yeah, seems to work. And that is actually, there's nothing more we have to do. Now, actually, we could do one more thing. So, if you want this to be a game pass, okay? Then you would need to add a script. So, a script right here. And you would need to put this inside of here. And let's call this one Notifier and okay? And now, I don't know how your system looks like, okay? But you would need to check once a player joins whether if player owns Game Pass. Wait. Notifier Game Pass. So you would need to verify in any way whether this player owns the Game, pers the game Pass or not. And if... So let me actually create some kind of check right here if play equals player now nah, wait that's dump so you would need to check it okay and if the condition is met then you would need to go ahead and you would need to clone the devil fruit notifier and you would need to put it inside of the players player gui that is how you would handle this okay so you would you would check for each player whether he or she has the game pass or not and if the game pass is possessed by that player then you would clone this into the player's player gui as you can see this works now the only thing which i'm a little bit scared of is whether this works once we have been reset or not so because when we reset yeah as you can see it has disappeared from our player GUI. So we need to put it back inside. So player character edit. Now it's player character humanoid dot connect function. And then let's add a little bit of wait time right here and play. Them to index null with humanoid. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Wait for child. Humanoid then. There we go.
to the next one with wait for child. Player dot character. Are you dumb? Wait for child character. If it will be possible on players test act to get character. Oh yeah, infinite yield, yeah. Now the character is still here, so why is this thing throwing out this warning? So the Delford notifier is still in here, and it is not because this part doesn't work for whatever reason. Then let's use something else. Let's use... Character edit, okay, and we want to check if there is an instance called Devil Fruit Notifier inside of this player GUI, and if there is none, then we want to clone it. Okay, it is in here. Let me reset. Okay, it works. Let me reset. Let's see if it is still in there. Let's wait two seconds. Okay, then it spawns. Let me remove that wait time. Because we don't need it. And there is one more thing we need to change about this notifier. We have to add the case. So, look. It could be that there is a free inside of your server. Okay. And you have just newly joined. And then this notifier wouldn't work. Because this notifier is only triggered when a new Delfruit is being added. Or a new Delfruit was removed. But it does not really tell you about the current state of the Delfruits. Okay. So, in order to fix that, we need to check if the amount of spawned Delfruits right here. Is greater than zero, and if that is the case, then we want to enable this, okay? And I'm gonna be, exp I, I don't know if I have even explained this not a not notifier, but I'm let me just explain it again. So we have the spawn Del Fruits folder right here, and what we are checking right here is whether the amount of instances inside of that spawn Del Fruits folder is greater than zero. If that is the case, then we can say that there is a Del Fruit currently spawned, and then we can enable this. Not notifier so script parent uh, notification visible true okay this this makes this text label visible now right here spawn dfs is our folder dot child edit child edit is an event which happens when you add an instance inside of this folder means you set the parent of that instance to this folder right here and if that happens then we want to enable this notifier as well because that means that a new Dell fruit has been added inside of that folder. Okay? And we want to do the exact opposite as well. If something has been removed from that folder, so something in this case is a Dell fruit, and the Dell fruit is of course being removed because it despawns or it has been picked up. And if that happens, then we want to check if the amount of fruits inside of there is zero. Because if that is the case, then we want to disable the notifier. Because imagine you have three Dell fruits, one is gone and you still have two remaining, then it would not make any sense to disable the notifier because you still have two dull fruits inside of the server, you know? That's the reason why we have to check whether there is no dull fruit left after one has disappeared. And yeah, that is it. Let's take a look inside of this notifier handler. So, as I've told you, you, you have to verify somehow whether the player owns the notifier game pass or not. And then once you have verified that, you can put this inside of the check, okay? That is very important, otherwise this, otherwise every player would receive a Stealth Fruit Notifier. And what happens right here? Let me actually do it this way, and let me see if, if this works. Okay, works as well. Yeah, it works. Let me reset. Ah, uh, doesn't work, doesn't work. Doesn't work, as you can see, yeah. Then, let's undo this. So what we're doing right here is that we are basically just... 
yeah, we are cloning the Dial Fruit Notifier, we are putting it back instead of the player's GUI. And once the character has been added, so character edit happens when the character spawns for the first time, or when you have been died, or when you have died and your character spawns again. Okay, that's that those are the two events which trigger this event right here. Well, nah, this event is actually triggered when your character has has just been re-added, so respawns, and this happens on these two occasions. That's the way to put it. And yeah, we are basically verifying whether this notifier is not inside of the player's GUI because if that is the case, then we want to add it inside of there. That is just all about this. And this happens. So look, this should happen once you join for the first time, and this should happen once you have died and then respawn. Okay, because that is the occasion where the player GUI decides to delete the screen GUI. But what we could do as well is that. So it. No, wait. Now we could not. We could not do that. We could not do that. Never mind. We cannot do that. And yeah, with that being said, that's the way on how to create a notifier, guys. I hope that this was helpful to you. If so, do nothing. Just watch the next episode. If you have any questions, ask them in the Discord. So, with that being said, see ya.